Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Averita Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in learning science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding nth highest salary using Pandas library of Python and try to walk it through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Amazon, Adobe, Bloomberg, Microsoft and Uber interviews. Okay, and do not worry if you don't have LeetCode Premium subscription, I am going to share this Panda schema right in the description box below. And if you want to try it out, you can just copy it and paste it in, let's say, Jupyter Notebook and try it yourself. Also, if you are new to this channel, I have already solved close to 200 easy, medium and hard difficulty lead code questions using SQL. The link of that playlist will be in the description box below if you want to check it out. Okay, let's jump right in. This question is in continuation with the last question that we saw. So 176, which was second highest salary. We are just going to generalize it, right? So here we have the same table employed with two different columns, ID and salary, this being their data types, ID being the primary key column with unique values for this table. And each row of this table contains information about the salary of an employee. We are asked to now write a solution to find the nth highest salary from the employee table. And if there is no nth highest salary, return null for SQL and none for Python, right? This was the language of the question in uh, question number 176 as well, right? Okay, let's look at this example. So we have an employee table with three different salaries. So obviously the highest salary is 300, the second highest is 200, third highest is 100, right? So if you, let's say, want to get the second highest salary, so you get the second highest salary as 200. Now, if you have, uh, you know, another example where you just have only one entry so obviously this is the highest salary and if you want to get the second highest out of it obviously there is nothing called second highest in this case right so you get the null so obviously the solution of this will be very similar as well with just one you know additional learning that you will have here is that how to get the name of the column in such a dynamic fashion that is you know if let's say uh, you wanted to get the second highest salary so you get get nth highest salary and in parentheses to what if you know want to get the first highest or the highest salary so how can this will change right if you just write get nth highest salary and do not include this parenthesis it is going to be very static in nature we don't want that so okay let's try to build out obviously the first step in this would should be to make a third column called rank and then rank based on the salary in decreasing order so let's go ahead and make a column called rank in the employee data frame which should be equal to employee take the salary column and then use the dot rank method what would the method be for ranking it should be dense as i explained in my last video as well because if there is a tie we don't want to skip it right and ascending should be equal to false because we want to arrange it in a de descending manner right so uh, or basically uh, rank it in a descending manner okay so let me go ahead and return this uh, employee table obviously this is not complete so this will return a wrong answer but that does not matter we are just trying to learn here Okay, so now you know that, okay, 300 is the first highest salary, uh, second highest, third highest. Now, once you have this, then let's make a data frame called, let's call it nth highest, right? So nth highest, which is going to be basically, you take the employee table, right? Or data frame and perform a Boolean indexing. So employee, and then you take the rank column, which should be, right? Which should be equal to equal to, n what is this n this is one of the parameters that goes into this function nth highest salary so there are two parameters going in employee data frame and the integer n right so whatever integer this is passed through that will equate to this so if you pass it two it is it is going to return you second highest salary if you pass it one it is going to return you first highest salary right or the highest salary so once you have this right nth highest now based on this you can uh, get an output as a pandas data frame because that is what is required right pandas data frame so return a pandas data frame but it should qualify or you know comply with two different conditions firstly if whatever highest salary so if you want second highest salary and the second highest salary is present you just return that if it is not present then you return none in this case right so Firstly, you need to uh, name the column name of the output as get nth highest salary, right? So get nth highest salary, right? Which becomes the key of this dictionary, right? Okay, so this should be in a dictionary. Uh, 
okay yeah and uh, the value should be okay take none value right if the length of the nth highest is equal to equal to zero right else you return the, you take the nth highest right and take the salary column and return the first salary okay so how is this going to work in this case so it is name the output column as get nth highest salary and if this satisfies this length of nth highest is equal to zero so obviously in second case right for example if you take the second case here you uh, have only one entry and n is equal to two is passed in this so obviously this is not going to have any row so obviously the length of that would be zero so it will pass none in that but if you take the first example here you are going to have the second highest salary so it is going to take okay second highest salary take the salary column and return the first value out of it because even if you have multiple rows all those salaries would be the same as well again let me run this but still this is not going to give you a correct answer why because our nth highest salary is a static column name but we want it to make it dynamic right but let me run this okay so if we look at it right so you have the get nth highest salary so the only difference in our output and expected output is having this like whatever value the in of the integer and you supply you also want to get that so you need to make sure that your name of the column is dynamic so how can you do that just write f right f and then under parentheses right so in parentheses and curly brackets you provide n right so now this will make it dynamic so obviously with this get nth highest salary now it is also going to include whatever number you are you know second highest third highest fifth highest etc tenth highest salary it is going to populate with this output column name now let me run this so now this is accepted right case one as well as uh, if i look at case two this is accepted right okay let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases or not right so okay this is accepted and this is how we do it so somewhat tricky question but it is kind of an extension and if you understood the previous problem 176 doing 177th was not a big deal the only new learning here we have is how to you know make our column name in the output dynamic right so basically you can use the raw format in this case and you can get the output but yeah let me know if you can think of a better solution let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video